Hello and welcome to Newstalk.com's coverage of the Web Summit. Stay tuned now is in the books, Raph. What do we learn from it today? You were watching a talk by Rio Ferdinand. Yeah, I was, yeah. He came out with quite a lot of interesting things. Like, for example, we always think of him as someone who's interested in maybe, you know, doing his clothing line and things when he finishes his career. But he also spoke about the fact he's taking his badges and he wants to go into management, which I thought was quite interesting. You wouldn't have thought of him automatically as a sort of a management sort of player, would you? No, but he was talking about the way kind of Alex Ferguson, uh, actually even David Moyes, in a slightly negative sense as well, uh, actually will benefit him in terms of what he's learning uh, as he's, uh, towards the end of his career and how he's going to apply that uh, when he uh, goes into management. Okay, and uh, one of the other people, the, the other big sports star of the day, of course, was Tony Hawk. He was speaking to Newstalk.com earlier on. He was talking about how big data is huge for him because his foundation works building skate parks in disadvantaged areas, so he picks out where is there going to be a better responsiveness to it and all that as well. What else did you see today? Um, I was down at the Sports Summit quite a lot. Um, I saw Hank Tenkat, who we were speaking to yesterday, and he was talking about technique uh, as well as a, uh, a kind of piece of equipment that players can use now called Tech Ball, uh, which gives them more contact time with the ball. Um, also, Damien Camoli, former sporting director at Tottenham in Liverpool, was actually, he actually admitted that a uh, signing of Jordan Henderson uh, pretty much led to a sacking, which was uh, quite, a, quite a, you know, a revelation. And aside from the sports, but of course as well, we've seen other things. We've seen the food summit. Adam Richmond, the host of Man vs. Food, was speaking to Newstalk.com as well. He was talking about his own time. He lived in Ireland in the 90s. His own favourite Irish cuisines. He's a big fan of Guinness, of stews, of the Waterford Blah even. Um, of course, then on the main stage as well, we had a lot of media-centric things. So BBC were talking about the role of social media in conflict. Uh, Ali Abdulliman was speaking to us. He's a Bahrainian blogger who is wanted by the Bahrainian government. He was spent uh, two years on the run, he's still on the run actually from them now, so he's over here at the website talking about the internet's role is more of a play thing, or it's more because often in the West we often see the internet as something we use to waste time, to procrastinate, to watch cat videos. He's saying it's a bit more life-changing. Well, we saw during the Arab Spring, for example, that it actually proved to be a kind of almost a democratic process. Really. And that's what it's all about. Well, we're back again tomorrow for day three, the final day of the Web Summit. You can stay up to date throughout on Newstalk.com.